I mean, look how dang solid these things are. This is insane. This guy's got so many just solid trucks here. Virtually no rust. The cab one, the doors are all still there. Hey, Luke. You know what would be cool? If we got one of these suckers running. I was going to say, what would be cool uh, if we just moved here? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we could. We should see if we get one of these running. Uh, I'm down. Something around here might run. I'm sure we could find something. Let's look for something. What would you find, I Luke? I don't want to close. Some dual quad. Try hard, really. Dual quad. Hey, that's a Mustang motor. So check it out, it's got dual quads, and then it's like, oh, stock headers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Wow, look how close it is. It's a five speed. Probably it's still the... I don't think it is a five It's not speed. a T5, so it's a manual, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's now different. That, the cup on that shifter is definitely not a T5. I think that's what this five speed up here is for. This one would run, but... That's not very epic. Someone already it's built it. Easy. Yeah, it's too easy. Look at, look at this. Look how solid this is. Not even fair. Let's go over here. Into the back path. Oh, jeez. Hello. Well, that one won't run. I can, yeah. I can see that one. This one's not going to run very well. Um, this one. Good. I'm assuming this is... Oh, pole. This is not, oh. <laughs> also not going to run. Custom right. engine delete. This is easy. What do you got there? Yeah, I do. So, hey, it's already got a battery. I do reckon that's a 350 Chevy, wouldn't you say? This thing's like... We're gonna build this and it's just parked here. There's a third. But more importantly. Oh hey, a javelin. Javelin. Will it start? This is the hooded internal, external. Look at those seats. Look at that floor! Wow. What the hell? Luke, let's drive this back to Iowa. It's got air conditioning. Aftermarket, but it won't start. Forgot to pat it on the roof. Oh fuck yeah, pat it on the roof for it. Um. Oh fuck. <laughs> Huge horn and nest by the hood release. So uh, maybe take that one off the list. <laughs> Oh, hello. Custom cab. This seems all too familiar. Way better dash in this one than ours. I bet you this is an FE. Yep, FE. You can tell an FE by the way the intake comes under the valve cover and then meets the cylinder head. So the push rods actually go through the intake. And you get this, this odd seam in the middle of the valve cover. Is an FE truck? Yeah, I'm going to guess 352, 360. Uh, yeah, it's a 60s. The hood says it's a 2.2 .2 liter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably an old FE. Oh, show. Sure. We've done one of these already, you know. We know what they're about. It probably won't run without choke. <laughs> Sucking, sucking it up and going nowhere fast. Dude, this Vic is full of absolute torque converters and, and nothing poop. else. It's got poop in it. From the coons. What else? Wait, wait. Yep. Oh, hey, hold up. Hold up. Hey, uh, Dylan? Yeah. Idea? Okay, <laughs> I can appreciate this one. What do you say we shoot an episode? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode 
of Junkyard Digs. Today, we're gonna do a revival from a junkyard because that's, that's what we do, right? We got Thunderhead 289. <laughs> we're just here. <laughs> today, I'm joined by Dylan McCool and Thunderhead 289 and this... 70 satellite. And this 70 satellite. <laughs> right, so today we're walking around this junkyard we found a 70 satellite. We're gonna get it running. Why not, you know? It's a revival. This will be fun, let's do it. I'm gonna do the first video on my channel, and then you're gonna go see the rest of it on his channel, Dylan McCool. I'll throw links at the end. You'll know what to do. Let's begin. Woo! All right, so Dylan is our local Mopar expert. A lot of you guys may know him from YouTube. If you don't, you're wrong. I'm certified. <laughs> YouTube expert. So he is our Mopar go-to. Luke is our Toonie Fixie guy, and I am just, the guy with the pretty face, I guess. Uh, Luke, what so do you have? Your automatic transmission parts. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, drop it. Bad. So, Dylan, give us a rundown of what we're looking at right now. This is a 1970 Plymouth satellite. This is basically what the base model of the Roadrunner would be. And it looks like somebody was trying to go with the Richard Petty theme. I don't think this is the original color. Looks like it was originally black or something like that. Somebody painted it blue. It's got the nice Plymouth decals on it. So I'm trying to make a race car for the street. And being that it's a satellite, it could have come with a lot of different options for engines. And I'm going to assume that it's a small block. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what we have. Oh, something pretty interesting here. These are factory 15 by eight Chrysler wheels off of like a Plymouth Velari Roadrunner, a Super Coupe, or like a Dodge Aspen RT that you could actually get from the factory with decals on it for 43 it came with flares on it but these are factory 15 by 8 steel wheels do you have any idea what any of that meant no but look how deep the rears are yeah this like, thing is like buried model. oh <laughs> i meant it's buried in the ground it's the but... same wheels <laughs> yes <laughs> it's the same wheels that are like on my police car but they're just an inch wider Not so my yeah police car, my dart, my dart. if you'll notice dylan knows what the hell he's talking about when it comes to mopar me and luke are just like what <laughs> Hey, that distributor's not where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to be up front. <laughs> not slanty. Ooh, we have an engine. So this is a small block. I'm assuming that it's going to be a 318. It could be a 340, being that it's a 70, but I don't necessarily know. But there's actually a casting number on the side here. We could probably check, get a camera down there or something. But the only thing that looks like it's been done to it is an Edelbrock intake. And that's about it. We could probably make this thing run. It looks like it's it's on it's got points, so that'll be pretty easy. Luke, you wanna give us the old twisty and see if she seized the old yeah. overham arm strength? Well this one's pretty pretty free. It seems like is it turning the crank or is it no. just turning the water pump? Well, let's see where it is. Yeah, the power it's steering pump. Engine. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to probably put a battery in it. Well, let's go get a battery and some tools and talk to the owner and see, maybe we can figure out how long this thing's even been sitting here. You know the guy, right? I do, I do. Okay, yeah. so this is a surprise to me. You may have seen the car before, but Honestly, neither of us have I ever I forgot seen it. it was here. It's been sitting back here for so long, I, I totally forgot about it. So. Neither of us know if it runs or drives or have ever seen it move, obviously, so. Yeah, I've never I've never seen it run before. Damn, oh, you can see, check out the original, the color right there, it's that. Why is that, that so green. solid? This is so unfair. If that was Iowa, there wouldn't it'd be like just a roof and some glass sinking in dirt. <laughs> it's like someone tried at one point. Check that out. What you got? Oh, it's like got its own. So they unhooked the fuel line. They got the little clickety clack, cheapo fuel pump, and check that out. Oh, better than <laughs> this. Is easy. Maybe. We're already plumbed they, they for made a it fuel up. tank. They did it for us. We're already plumbed for a fuel tank. This is going to be so easy. And maybe I'm ignorant, but I've never seen one of the, these like mechanical, these cheapo mechanical fuel pumps. So it's outside of my era. So I've, I don't know. I don't know how long it sat there, but all that fuel line's like dry rotted. It's been a while. So. All right, let's go get a battery and some tools Should and nice see challenge. what we can do. Just like that, we're back here. Um, some time has passed. We have a battery some tools, some gas, a dog, some tripods, and a bucket of Luke's tuning abilities. That's not an accurate representation, but in one whole Luke. Is it a smaller bucket? 
Usually I'm a little more organized than this. He says that, but... <laughs> so we talked to the owner, uh, speaking of which, uh, for sale. He said it's not for sale. Correct. But he also told us how long has it been sitting here? He said that he thinks it's been sitting for at least 10 years. 10 years. First start in 10 years on a 70 satellite. Let's not be so optimistic, please. <laughs> like us. Me nervous. <laughs> if I know anything, I know she'll run. What is this? Dingle dangle. I'm gonna get in and see if anything happens. So we even have keys. We don't have a fuel pump, so turn it over. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know if we have keys. Uh, there's keys. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna bump it and see what happens. Let's check if it has oil in it. Also, it sounds like it has a mini starter on it already, so that's gonna help us. Yeah, she, she cranks really good. That was actually impressive. Let's, yeah, let's check some fluids here. Uh, there is none. Not at all. No oil? No oily. Okay, I brought a couple quarts in the Oldsmobile, so. There's a little bit on the end there. It looks like probably just a quart low, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're at least it's a quart a low. It's a waste. Yeah. It's, it seems some moisture sitting out here. I'm gonna go grab the oil. You guys keep doing what you do. Got oil. Brought some of the Oldsmobile from the trip. 10W40 sounds good to me. How about you? Yeah, I think 1040 is good and safe. It's been sitting for a while. It needs extra viscosity, just for safety. Plus, that's probably what it ran back in the day. So, extra safety points. How are we on fuel pumpage? Uh, I think we're gonna be all right. So it's got like a hole in the suction line, so it can't pull any fuel. I was just gonna remake it really quick. Uh, Tennessee is quite warm. It's like all of 45 at home. All the humid points, man. See how high you can get it. I, that's all the fast charging for it'll overflow. Oh, really? It's one of those really restrictive baffles. Mm. This is just like the F100. I hate this. <laughs> I bet you I can do this without spilling a drop, though. You got to get stop! <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Luke tried to screw me up and I screwed myself up. Yep, never in my life. Oh! Oh, I thought that was a bug. I did too. Never in my life will I ever be able to pour oil without just spilling it everywhere. Okay, let's see how we did. Hey, look at that. We're full. So it was one quart low. Input cost, one quart of oil. All right, so we got the oil in the engine, so we're safe to crank now. Our next step is gonna see if we have spark. Quickest way to do that, pull your coil lead, shove your janky screwdriver in it, Set it somewhere just close enough that it will not touch any metal, but that it may spark. So then I'll have someone watch that right there. I'm gonna hop in and crank it. Hopefully it doesn't jiggle too much that that screwdriver falls. I'll hold it. Ready? Yeah. Yep. You got spark? Yep. Yeah, so the coil and the ignition, at least the coil's good, so now. Pull a plug and see if we get spark on a plug, and then we do, hey, the points are good, and then we're good with ignition. That seemed good. We can do the same thing with a... Yeah, let's just do it with a screwdriver. Screwdriver. Get the plugs in, save some time. Yeah. Okay. Contact. Nope. Nothing? Go again. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. It's, it's a light spark, but it's there. But we're also using a screwdriver, so yeah. it's probably pretty good spark at that point. So right. I don't know, throw some carb cleaner down the choke and or down the throat of the carb, I mean, and light it off. See if it at least fire, because it's it's got ignition now. Or at least that far. Ten years, first start, here we go. I th I think it's probably not gonna do it. Hey, Kevin, tell you what, I'm gonna work the throttle alright. <laughs> <laughs> I just about smashed my finger between the linkage. <laughs> Ooh, right in the eyes. Mm. Perfect. All right, fire in the hole. Yo, what? Yeah, I know. Um, hopefully we don't suck too much crap down in the throat of the carb. Go again. This thing, it sounds kind of rowdy. Rowdy? Yeah, it's got, it, it sounds was, like it has like a cam or something maybe. I think yeah. it does have a cam because it wouldn't run without it. <laughs> <laughs> Fired. <laughs> so can we 
fill vents on these or how do auto rocks work? Well, yeah. we could fill the I'm car bowl right here. Yeah, that's what yeah. I meant. I missed completely. <laughs> All right, Dylan's gonna go ahead and fill our fuel bowls. Good little thing you can do with Edelbrox here. But Luke, I believe you can do that with Hollies, can't you? Through the vent tube. Yeah, kind of same deal. Yeah. It works out all right. Pretty crazy. So once those are nice and ugga dugged, ugga flooded. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go find one of them plugs for the cap because that bothers me. I know where we're rolling. I'll be back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dad, we don't need a radiator this time. I tell you what, we got lots of them. <laughs> and this, this one's got stuff in it still. <laughs> yeah, we. This would have been nice last time. Oh, yeah, I know. We need to fill the radiator because it's empty. Because someone was smart and drained it. But we need oh, to really? be smart and also fill it. I'm... Hey! Huh? Oh, look! Run, Run, Forrest! I really want to see him fall in between one of Here. those cars. <laughs> Did you just jump the camera? Yeah, here's the camera. All right, now go find water. <laughs> no way. So Luke brought up an excellent thing to check. Uh, there was no water. <laughs> we definitely want to get some of that in there before we fire this thing. And we're going to add some coolant later because this is going to sit here probably for an unspeakable amount of years yeah. until we can maybe rescue it someday you never know so we'll get some glycol in there later make sure things don't freeze up during the winter yeah, but yeah. for now i think we're ready to fire i think, I think so. so all right contact that could have been an awesome fireball that could have been amazing all right. there was no rubber on there so. okay. that's hit it when you want it to go fire I don't think it has enough in it. Good. Is our line in our fuel tank? Mm, do you want me to check the mechanical one? Stick it in the gas tank? Yes. Watch it perfectly spray it into the air and then right into the car. Vaporize. Yes. Right, there we go. This thing sounds good. Proper modulation. I hear no engine noise, do you guys? I no, it sounds healthy. Alright, here we go. Oh, I am really reluctant to spray the fuel while it's running because I like my eyebrows on my face. <laughs> I don't I don't think that mechanical pump's gonna do anything. He's making gluggy things. Oh is it? Yeah. Cool. Keep going, Kevin. Yeah, one sec. You got any oil pressure gauges in there? Uh, God dang it. Who, made, who puts together these cars? Now? Yeah, I don't think our fuel pump's gonna pull anything. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think so either. Go one more time. Our engine sounds healthy. There's not even any valve train noise not, yeah. or anything, and that's like dead cold hasn't done anything for a long time so I guess so the thing here now is to probably rig up the fuel pump that actually works yeah and see if the how the carburetor does look how fresh that carburetor really is it probably didn't run too many miles it's a 1406 yeah no 1405 so it's a 600 we went and got a new fuel pump we got that all wired in here uh, we're gonna see if that works that one's probably not much of a better chance than the other one, but you never know. Mm, it's debatable. So, we'll hook that fuel pump up to yep. our bowls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it works! <laughs> hey, it works, and the fuel line's junk. So let's take a few, you want to take a chunk of this good fuel line? Or I can just cut it back four inches. Well, it's like dry rotted. We'll like see. Erica. <laughs> you have no faith. Well, I think, I, hold on, let me make sure you get the accelerator pumps working maybe 
That face, come on. Yeah, that's what I think. I think it's. Uh, Did I hit it anyway? I'm trying. You could try it, but there's. Well, I gotta get a squirt bottle then, because you don't have any primer fuel. Thank you, sir. Alright, here we go. First start running in 10 years. Pretty dang good for the first start in 10 years. Yeah, doesn't have any any accelerator pump to it and <laughs> can fumble around a little bit, but yeah, at least it at least it runs. So everything from the car engine. down is pretty good. Yeah, yeah I don't hear any engine noise. It, it's running good. What do you say? What do you say? We see if it'll drive. Air up the tires, maybe put some fluid in it, and up and down here. So there you have it. 10 years, 1970 satellite brought back to life. We're gonna see if it can drive. So if you wanna go see that video, make sure you check out Dylan McCool right here on YouTube. I'll put a link right about there when his video comes out. So make sure you definitely go subscribe to him. Subscribe to Thunderhead 289. You're not gonna find better tech anywhere on the internet. The man. Right there, that guy is the man. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We had a great time, but we're not done yet, like I said, so go check out that video. I will see you later, peace. Two. Yeah, mine are only different weights. <laughs> Should have grabbed the Ford ones. <laughs>